So, while I'm working on this new series that I do, following uh, plans of um, getting transitions into a, s a self watering system, uh, I'm working with this plant, New River Something. I will look it up. I, it's not readable for me, and I can't remember the name completely on top of my head. But yeah, things do not always go as we want it. I just. This morning I saw a, a video uh, from Ninja Argus where she had some problems with an argot and she had an, a suspicion and I had the same thing happening with mine um, yes I hope you can see it it's purple it's a purple ring so that means that it has fusarium it making it's is making new roots so what I will do in this stage is I'm going to cut the rhizome here and see if it's already spread it over here the fusarium um, if it's not I can probably save this argot so let's have a look and yeah I'm going to do this above the bin so let's snap it in and we still have a bit of purple but it is getting less, so we might be lucky. It's still there. Uh, I'm sorry. It's still here. You can see on top of that. Let's try again. I have a little bit of room left. No, it's still there. It's still, it's, it doesn't got. It doesn't get as intense as before, but it's still there. So let's hope. So frustrating. Yeah. Ooh, this is it's it's still there a bit, but it does get cleaner. Hmm. Um, and I will clean this. I will uh, disinfect this later on. But I need first to cut this again to see if we are correct. Um, yeah, let me see this to you guys. Show me this to you guys. I have still a bit of purple here. And I have really a little bit of rhizome left. So I want to keep this new growth uh, on this bulb, of course. Because um, a, a new growth that size and with those roots is not probably not going to make it on its own yet. So therefore I'm going to cut off a little bit more. And what do we see? Is it green? Is it green? I think so. Let me check. Well actually there is a little piece. Hmm. I will uh, get some alcohol. Because I didn't clean my cutting tool and that's not good but I needed to cut that many times so I will spray whoops, a little bit of alcohol directly on the plant and trust me it doesn't like it <laughs> uh, well I I think it doesn't because it's like you have an open wound on yourself I just imagine that <laughs> but I think it will uh, will bite a little bit but it needs to kill off the bacteria that get in the virus probably as much as I can and I also will get the sheet off but I'm going to make a separate series of, series of this one we're gonna follow this and see oops, if we can save this argot uh, one more shot at the horizon cut I'm sorry there we go because once I put it up we will not have the ability to wash it again I think it's clean I think it's clean and also we have quite a few new roots on that new growth so fingers crossed and hopefully they will start growing on what I do next is the alcohol I let it ev evaporate so I try to clean uh, this as much and then I'm going to um, put some cinnamon on the plant and I'm not going to touch it with my fingers because I hold the other parts I have no idea what's around the argot but I, uh, first I will give it a uh, spray with hydrogen peroxide for the roots and for uh, maybe some slug eggs, bosnil, bosnil eggs. And then when that is dry I'm going to seal the wound with um, cinnamon. 
and put an argot up and leave it alone and try to get it uh, to grow. So I'm going to do that now and we'll be back. What you see now is a uh, cut rhizom uh, as before but now I did put some uh, cinnamon on top of it. So I first did some alcohol just to make clear that I disinfected a try at least. Then some hydrogen peroxide on the whole plant for uh, some leftovers, some eggs of bush snails for example. And now I'm sealing this with um, the cinnamon. I'm going to leave this to dry. As you can see it's wet and I need to have this dry because I will up pot it. And then uh, it's in the pot. So I need to make sure there is not any chance of getting rot inside the plant again. But this is what we uh, are left with. Like I said it has a few new roots. And um, I did have some successes with this, with other plants. They were in similar, very similar state, and I will uh, show you the plant now. It's really, it's unrecognizable. <laughs> and if I, I probably have some pictures of it. I, if I can find them, I will show you that plant as well. It was in uh, basically. And as promised, my success story plans. Um, this one, this first one had a Fusarium as well. This is a Miltonia Honolulu. And I have this for about yeah, two and a half years now. It's from 2018. And yeah, it is uh, growing. It's uh, actually two parts. This back bulb does uh, look shriveled, but it, make, it did make new growths, growth, I'm sorry. So, it never bloomed for me, so hopefully in the greenhouse it will, uh, will start to bloom. But yeah, it uh, did get uh, quite uh, bigger and it's currently working on some new growths again. So I think that is going to be a uh, uh, healthy plant uh, again, this bulb. As you can see, it's really nice, it's very shiny, it isn't as big, so I'm not completely sure yet, but it does look uh, much better. And here in the back we have a very big Argus, also a Miltonia, I'm sorry. Try to find a good angle. <laughs> but you can see the new roots. This one puts out a, a heck of a lot of roots. So th therefore I think it's uh, started to get very healthy again, as you can see. And this is the Miltonia Spectabilis. More let me grab the tag. <laughs> um, yes, Spectabilis Moreliana Royalty. And it's been with me from when this set up uh, 25 of February 2019. But yeah, this one is making a lot of roots. This one is the, the same plant, it's, uh, were, they were once uh, together. But I had to separate them because of the fusarium, so I ended up with uh, several pieces. I gave uh, quite some pieces away, I think three. I did kept two of them and those are getting really uh, big. And one day I may get rid of one of them, I don't need two. But um, yeah, they are, those two are doing very well. And I have another one. Um, oh yeah, here it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one. This one is quite smaller, it's from the same um, order as the other, other ones, but it's still smaller, and this is the Festiva. I have no idea, I, I did check this one, I did cut off a bulb, and it looked well, uh, it look good, uh, look, did look good, the horizon was green, so I think it's okay, but it's, it's a slow grower. But it starts out making some roots again with this new growth. Didn't bloom for me. The bulbs are not very big, but it's growing again. So it had a major setback, of course, like the other ones. We're gonna follow now the new ones. The plants are a very setback, so they really need the time to recover. But I think we are doing quite well with these guys. But yeah, some blooms in the future would be nice, of course, but uh, this is the second part 
of the uh, royalty, not only of the royalty, and again, it's putting out quite some roots. So I think they will be fine, even though the root tips are now not growing. It do look a, a little bit dark, but there are a lot of uh, roots growing in the pot. And here, let me zoom in. Um, I hope you can see this, but there are some green root tips. They're in the back as well. And it has quite a lot of roots in the pot, so I think this one is uh, getting uh, to become a stronger plant again. And like I said, hopefully one day we will have some blooms. <laughs> and here we have the leftovers of that poor plant. It's all, I'm not gonna touch it anymore, but this one is uh, was heavily infected with fusarium. I found a few parts that were clean and I will pot them up and hopefully actually two parts. I found another one, I will show you that in a minute. But yeah, this is uh, these are the leftovers. Very, very sad. I now have uh, what was left from the ark uh, put it up here. And we, this is a new piece that I didn't film before um, when I was cutting off the rhizome, but I had another piece that was uh, had a clean rhizome. So I have had two pieces in here. This one has new roots, so hopefully that will grow. And this one just started new roots. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see there a little white stripe about there. That's also a new root and one just starting there. So hopefully this will, uh, will grow and it is this, uh, it's a Miltasia new river. So now I know which market it is and um, it happened to be that I have another one with the same uh, problem, also Fusarium. This is my Oncidium, uh, let me get out of tag, Oncidium George Verbonen. Also, same problem, same, um, hopefully, solution, same um, uh, treatment, I should say. And over here I have a Miltonia. It's Miltonia Cross. Goldmore and Candida, Candita, if I pronounce it good. Also the same problem, different date. This is a, a bit earlier, March the 14th. And the funny thing is, well, yeah, it's kind of funny. This one comes from Kof, Orchideen from Germany. And this one is from, the yellow one is Lux, of Luke. And that one is from Wichmann. So I have three orchids from three different cellars and all three of them had Fusarium. This one has a few roots there left. It's uh, three different parts. You see here one bulb with uh, new growths on. And this one, I'm sorry, this one is starting a new root. And there's my camera. You can see that little green thing. Oh, I'm sorry. And there, on top of my finger. So, let's hope that we'll start shooting out roots. And this one has also new roots started. So, they all have somewhere some new roots. So hopefully that will be enough to get them uh, growing. I have them here, so I have them uh, together so I can spray them easily. Because what I now do is uh, spray them every day with uh, just pure RO, RO, RO water, I'm sorry, <laughs> and um, only some seaweed in it. I will see you, to, I'll let you see the product, just a minute. I use this product, Biobis Algamec, Algamic, I'm sorry, and I really, really like this brand. They have a lot of more stuff. I will uh, make a video about that uh, one day, but this is the seaweed that I uh, like to get, and it's very green. Sometimes it's brown. If it's brown, it's not good anymore. You have to have the green one, at least from this product. And I put it in, uh, like I said, in my, with uh, just pure RO water in um, a sprayer, some seaweed, and then I can spray them basically on a daily basis. I just spray, spray the roots, the top of the pot, just to get the hormones in there. A little bit of water. 
and that's it. So we have some water around the roots and that is it until they have really started to getting in a semi hydroponic starting to grow again if they have roots in the pot I will uh, start the process uh, as uh, usual when you have um, plants in semi hydroponic and that means that I will fill up the reservoir but at this stage I don't have any water in the reservoir I just keep spraying them every day every other day to get those roots going for me this works it works very well with a spray bottle it's quite easy but you have to do it uh, daily basically every day you can skip a day but yeah it's better to uh, give them every day a little bit of this I will make updates on how they uh, will develop the next few weeks and months and we can, uh, can watch those roots hopefully growing into the media so for now thank you for watching and um, I hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye